Well, good morning, children. So we are back to our physics class, and today we'll start with the chapter of light. Now, when we say light, what do you know? What is light? Light is a form of energy that enables us to view our surroundings. So, when you have to see something. then the essential thing is that the light should fall on that object so when light falls on an object it may be it may undergo any of these three processes like it may be absorbed that means light falls on the surface and it is just absorbed by the surface or it may be transmitted for example if you have a piece of glass then you all know that light will pass through this piece of glass so it may be transmitted or the light may be reflected that means the light falls on a surface and then it is bounce it bounces back to the same medium so the process basically in which the object throws back the light or bounces the light is known as reflection and basically it is this process of reflection that enables us to see our surroundings children for any surface to be a good reflector it should have certain characteristics like a surface to be a good reflector it should be a shiny surface and secondly it should be polished and thirdly it will be it should be a smooth surface so a good reflector is a one which has a shiny polished and smooth surface so satisfying all these is a mirror mirror is generally a surface which happens to be shiny polished and smooth and it can reflect back the light which falls on it now there are two types of mirror one is a plane mirror and other is a curved mirror now the word plane as it tells you the surface has to be straight like if you see this one i don't know if you are able to make out or not but if you see this this is absolutely plain so this happens to be a plain mirror but if the mirror has a curved surface you will not be able to exactly know how is i mean in this while looking at the video you might not come to understand but it is a curved mirror it is slightly bulged at the back so this becomes a curved mirror so that means when i talk of mirrors i can have a mirror which is absolutely straight that is a plane mirror or it may be a mirror which is curved and i will call that as a curved mirror so a curved mirror another word that we use for this curved mirror is spherical mirror now the curved mirrors will have a curved reflecting surface it either bulges in or out now when light falls on a surface it is known as an incident ray that means if this is a surface this we give it to show that it is a mirror for example then when light falls on it this falling of the light is indicated by an arrow the arrow indicates the direction that means light is coming from somewhere here and it is following this path and falling on the surface this light is known as incident ray now when this light falls on the surface since the surface is reflecting it will bounce back and this light arrow will indicate that this coming back to the same medium so this what we call is reflected ray 
Now the question arises. Where will this light get reflected? In which direction will this light go? Or how will I know that where will I mark this reflected ray? For that, we have our laws of reflection, which you no doubt have done it in class seven. But let's repeat it once again. Now, children, what are the laws of reflection? The first law of reflection it states that incident ray. reflected ray and normal lie on the same plane i hope you remember that if this is a plane surface then a light which falls on it this is your incident ray this point where the light falls on the surface is the point of incidence when you draw a perpendicular at this point of incidence then that is known as the normal the angle which is formed between the incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence the light when falls on this smooth polished surface it gets it bounces back that is known as reflected ray the angle between the normal and the reflected ray is r so according to the first law the incident ray the normal and the reflected ray lie on the same plane plane means a surface second law says angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that means this angle i will be equal to r so now we know that whenever light falls on any surface then it will reflect in a direction such that incident ray normal and the reflected ray are in the same plane and angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection now children when light is reflected back then image of the object is formed where there are two types of images one is real and other is virtual now when is the real image form the image which is formed when reflected rays actually meet at a certain point that means when light falls on a substance and then gets reflected the reflected rays when they go and meet at certain point then a real image is formed but in the case of virtual image the image the reflected rays actually do not meet at all but they appear to come from some point or they appear to meet at a point so since in the case of this the rays actually meet at a point so this image can be obtained on a screen but in the case of virtual image since the rays do not actually meet they cannot this image cannot be obtained on a screen so remember it cannot be obtained on the screen and lastly the real image is always inverted and in the case of virtual it is always erect when you see yourself in a mirror you see an erect image your image cannot be obtained on a screen that happens to be the virtual image but when you click a photograph with the help of a camera then the image is captured on the film that is your real image and it will be formed inverted